Oh, it's your boy Arkeese, man. What's poppin'? Uh, your boy Black Eskimo. I create music group, aka Christ Size Soldiers. Look, um, I'm gonna do something because somebody asked me a question, and I'm gonna help you out because some of the videos I hate. Okay, GarageBand. We all have used it once in a while. I haven't opened GarageBand in a long time. A lot of things have changed. But the question was asked, does GarageBand, and this is an old GarageBand. Look, I still have an old tower, not Intel. So when I tell you that this is old, it's probably like super old. <laughs> but let me get to it. All right, look. Does it work with the Akai uh, Advance 49? And how does it work with an MPC 4000? Don't hate because I got both. It just is what it is. Okay, look, this is not complicated. Let me help you out. If you're using a, an Akai 4, uh, uh, MPC 4000 to trigger stuff in GarageBand, it'll do that. You can't hear the sounds and stuff, but it'll even let you use some of the banks. See, I'm switching banks. You can't hear it, but trust me when I say... I'm changing the banks as I do that. So it does let you do those things, but what it will not let you do, it will not let you auto repeat. It will not let you change mixer levels. If you know all the other things that make this uh, device great, you're not going to be able to use that. <clears throat> but the sensitivity hits and all that stuff, that seems to be effective. You know what I'm saying? If you put it on full, that seems to still going to work. But the reality is, uh, the, Akai, the new Akai Advanced is way better for what you want to do in GarageBand if you're using GarageBand. Now, let's just say you don't know that the VIP is in it. Let's just say you just plug it in as a controller. Let me just be clear about this. What works with GarageBand is this so far. The auto repeat button. You see that right there? Just pressed it. You can't hear it, but it's repeating. And that's great because you want to be able to do certain type of beats and stuff. You want to be able to just press that auto repeat and get it in. You feel me? And if you notice right here, you'll see uh, the time, um, the time divide, whatever that thing is. One fourth, one, uh, one four T triples, one eight T 16, yada, yada, yada. If you use drum machines, you know what that is. How do you change the note repeat? Uh, for an Akai Advance 49 working with uh, GarageBand. And I'm strictly talking about GarageBand right now, all right? And I'm sorry the video's shaky. Um, simple. Go here. See it? Boom. Time, a divide, whatever the heck that is. I haven't read my manual, sorry. And all you got to do is pick which speed you want. What? No way. Yeah, bruh. You see, if you can hear it right now, I mean, it's it's sweet. It's that simple. Like, no way. Yeah, doc. You just take it off and you're set. Okay, you're like, oh my God. Auto repeat in the controller. Yeah, and I know there's other controllers out there. We're not talking about that. We're talking specifically about this keyboard because this keyboard is the hotness right now, right? Okay, the next thing you want to know is how can you control the pads? Not hard, homie. This is what you need to do. Feel me? You go in here. You see this controller right here? Well, first of all, if you're in the main uh, window, you're going to see a lot of stuff like <clears throat> logic, all that, blah, 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 blah. Skip all that. You might not even have to skip it, but I tend to do it. I don't want my computer being uh, confused. So I'll set a, set a preset. And then basically I go over here to, um, uh, you know what? I don't even do anything in the MIDI. After I do a preset, I go to uh, control. Control MIDI right there. You feel me? See it? Boom. Then after that, you press it a couple of times and you notice the windows are changing. Yeah, not complicated, right? Here's the key. You want to be on the user preset with the pad coloring things. The reason why you want to be here is because if you push this button right here, push the enter, feel me? Bow. You see it? See how it scrolls through? Now you have total control over the pads from everything from um, what note you want it to play to what MIDI channel you want it to play. It's just that simple. You change the note, you get a different sound. If you want to change the MIDI, you, you do that too. You feel me? That's how you uh, control the pads. You can just control the pads any way you want. And oh snap, look how many banks you got in the pad. A, B, C, and D. See the color changing? Let me show you. Boom, boom. Oh my God. That's dope, fool. <laughs> That's so sick because it's going to allow you to access banks in various ways. You feel me? Okay. Now, I've shown you two little tricks. 
I've shown you the time, um, the no repeater. I've showed, I've shown you how to uh, hook the pads up and change that. I haven't fooled with any of these knob things. This is just basic stuff. Now the big question that was asked: Does VIP work in GarageBand? Now don't hate because I don't use GarageBand like that. I just happen to be like, I don't know. Let me figure it out. The question is yes. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Just I'm stupid like that because I don't use GarageBand. I didn't know that GarageBand can use VSTs. I had no idea. So basically what ended up happening is I was going to come in here and do a drum, right? And I ain't got a lot of drums in there, obviously. But down here in the uh, instrument generator, when you click on that, let me see if I can. Basically what happens is it gives you a lot of options. And what's down here, not on this computer, but on my laptop is VIP. VIP opens up and it allows me to use VIP with GarageBand. I know, that's sick. So what happens is if this was VIP, I would click on VIP in the generator. I would come over here to manual um, and it might not have this new multi or not, but this is battery two. Oh yeah, other, uh, just FYI, other programs open up to it as well in GarageBand, uh, battery two, battery three, uh, and just whatever other um, virtual instruments you have do work with GarageBand. You might already know this, but then what happens with, um, oh, here we go. So just imagine, and that's, that's um, battery opening up in uh, GarageBand, an old school GarageBand at that. So on my laptop, which is here with a new uh, GarageBand in it, it, op it opened up um, VIP. Yeah, it was dope. So yes, GarageBand can take, can use the Advance 49 as a basic controller with different options of changing midis and notes. Yes, it does that. Does GarageBand use <laughs> VIP? Yes, it does. The way I just showed you with going into that other option. Uh, and, and a lot of you guys might have known this, but I hate to tell you, a lot of guys didn't. So that's it. That's my video, man. And just, you know, don't hate on GarageBand. I'm, I'm sorry I was hating. I know people have made tight beats with this, but now I understand why. Because you're just using GarageBand as the track generator, but you're going into the VSTs and pulling whatever virtual instrument you have, uh, Battery 3 and Lord knows what else you have in your computer to make beats. And when you're in a rush and you don't feel like pulling up Pro Tools, it makes sense. All right, man, that's it, bro. I hope I helped you guys out, man. Peace and grace, your boy. Our Keys, Christ Side Soldiers, the Black Eskimo in the building, 907, repping.